Welcome back to another Smarter Architect tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Revit Viewer. I've had a few questions on it, and I just want to cover it here. So you'll see I'm in Windows 7 is my operating system. But either way, you want to come to your Start menu. And then I'm going to come to my Programs. And we're going to select on this Autodesk folder. And I'm just going to expand both my Revit 2013 and 2014 folders just to show you that the Revit viewer 2013, and I've had a question of whether or not there is a 14 viewer, the 2014 viewer is available as well with the download of your software. I do want to let you know that how do you get the viewer? If you just install the trial version of Revit, at the end of your 30 day period, you'll see that your Revit license will actually become the viewer only. Uh, until you move forward with the purchase of the software. So the Revit Viewer really is the entire install of the program. It just lacks a couple of the features at the very end. You cannot make any modifications uh, to the file. So I'm just going to open up the 2014 Viewer and let's take a look at some things. So of course Revit's going to give us just a notification that we're opening this up in the viewer because it does look exactly like the program and it, this menu just explains what that viewer mode functionality contains that we won't be able to do any saving and I've had a question um, expressing concern for whether or not people are able to print from this or export a DWF and I want to be clear that as long as you don't make any changes to the file that you're opening here the project file you'll see that I still keep my capability to be able to do anything that I want to do as far as printing or exporting to a DWF so I'm just going to open this up for you and I do want to try to give you an uh, understanding of when I've believe it's best to use this Revit viewer. I do not use it very often as, you know, as a, as a modeler, but on a project team, if you're in more of a supervisory role where you just want to take a look at exactly where the project is in real time in production by your team, this will work a little bit better than using the design review software because that design review software it utilizes the DWF, which is a snapshot in time. So if it's if the DWF is weeks or days old, depending on how much production is being done, it may not capture exactly where the team is at that point. Whereas if you use this Revit viewer, you're in the project in real time. So I just want to come up here to my print menu and share with you that you'll see I actually continue to maintain my ability to print or export to DWF here. But just for example, let me open up a different view and I'm gonna do something simple, like even just a small, I'm just gonna delete a tree even. And you'll see that it seems like Revit allowed me to do this, although if I came up here and tried to save, you'll see that Revit reminds me that I'm in viewer mode so I can't even save this file. Um, as well as if I come back to my print menu now, You'll see Revit also brings up the same menu to let me know I'm in viewer mode and I cannot print this file at this point because I have tried to change it. I deleted, you know, a tree out of the site model. So you will have to just use this exactly as it says as a viewer and navigate the files but not make any changes to them um, in order to maintain the printing and exporting ability. And I hope this video is helpful for you in understanding how to get to it. I would say that, you know, if you're on the team and you're in a supervisory role and you're going to use this software, it might make sense to, if I come back to programs very quickly, and I just want to take a look at this 2014 viewer. If I right click on viewer, I can always send to and create myself a shortcut on the desktop for the viewer. And that way you'll be able to get to it the way you're most comfortable probably getting to the regular program. I hope this video has been helpful for you in understanding the Revit viewer.
Thanks. And if you have any questions about the design review software, which I believe, you know, if you're looking to make markups to the model and to communicate any red lines to your project team, that's going to be the software that you'd want to utilize. Uh, that's what Autodesk intended it to be used for. And it actually works best, you know, as the best tool. So I do have a tutorial on that. If you would like to take a look at that, please check out the Smarter Architect YouTube channel and please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thank you.